What's up everyone? I'm back in the garage. Yesterday I met that guy and we managed to put manifold with a turbo assembled onto our engine and looks like everything fits and fits perfectly. So we met maybe around 8 o'clock and we finished around 10 minutes past 8. The plan for today is to finish with the manifold nuts because we have maybe only four like properly tightened and uh, I want to complete this task then then I'd like to put an exhaust back to its place because I had to take it out when I was uh, doing those holders for a wire. I forgot to mention that uh, the nuts we had didn't fit as it was M8 and for these engines looks like uh, we had to buy an M7 so here it is and I found those guys in packs and one pack around 5 euros so not too expensive and we are still missing 4 nuts but I'll use old ones because we have only 20 of those I didn't want to buy another 10 then yesterday I saw that there may be places in this side where it may get tricky to screw the stud in because the stud may be too long so I grinded the little sides of the manifold and if it won't fit I'll have to cut maybe two or three millimeters of it but we have two or three millimeters so everything should be fine and it's like usual from one hour's work I spent four and uh, I just did half of the job and I am modifying some of the studs so I could screw it with a screwdriver I had to loosen my manifold a little but everything's going great now because I found that way which works and at first I was struggling so let's continue working and I hope I will be able to finish at 11 o'clock <laughs> And it looks like I have to modify some of the nuts. The bottom cap is interfering my way. And uh, we have to modify something. So I'm doing it. And I am grinding that bottom cap of it. One side done. And I'll have to grind that other side. Yo, so it's half past 10 and I'm nearly done with the top and now it's a bit more than a half of a bottom left and tighten those bolts. So I'll show you what I did. Two nuts left. I'm going underneath the car again. I have this a modified nut and uh, I bolt this one and then one more left but i guess that last one gonna be the most difficult Ooh, la la. it's about half past two and uh, finally i'm done and uh, i tightened those nuts as well but it's pretty late and i'll double check tomorrow studs once go deeper than others but looks like it holds our manifold if we'll see any leak we will be able to tighten it or swap something if needed and i'm saying you good night guys and see you tomorrow bye bye oh and don't forget to like share and subscribe what's up everyone so it's four o'clock like yesterday and the plan for today is to connect exhaust and uh, check the hose for water because i need to measure the size and the angle so i could bring it to the shop uh, and the shop uh, said that they will press banjo onto the hose so yesterday i managed to bolt manifold on i went home about three o'clock yesterday in the morning yeah I guess you can see that we have our exhaust hanging and now I'll go underneath the car. I have to connect it somewhere in the middle. Then I have a holder where gearbox is and then we'll use this clamp to connect this side to a turbo. So let's go and let's hope that we will be able to get through this hole. We have our exhaust finished and uh, I asked my dad for help because it was quite tricky. So I guess when I tightened everything properly something has changed because previously I was able to connect and disconnect exhaust alone and now I had trouble with a clamp. So I did the job underneath the car and my dad catched nut onto that guy. Now I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. The holder on the gearbox doesn't fit now i'll fix this one later because we still have some important tasks to do we have millimeters down there 
I'll be going for a smoke break now and then I'll bring that horse, go underneath the car and see if I can measure everything. So like, share and subscribe guys.